If you want to create a UI like this from a already existing database, then just hang on because I will show you how you can make all this functionality in under five minutes with a database that you already have. In just a minute, I will show you what databases you can do this on, but there is a quite few to choose from. So the first tool that we need is Rats and Blazes Studio, and you don't have to worry, it can sound very fancy, but you don't have to code at all to, to make this UI. All you need is your database, and then you should be good. So in my case, I have a MySQL database set up. This is just a template that I'm going to use. And this is actually the only thing that was required for this video is that you already have a database set up. It could also be MSSQL, but let's go to Rats and Blazes Studio. And from here on, it's actually pretty simple to use. You just create a new application. And in our case, we will just use a Blazes server application. So we will hit next. Then we will give our application a name. So let's call this CRUD app, maybe like this. When you install, Rats and Blazers Studio, you need to have .NET 7 installed because that is the .NET framework that we're going to use. And when it comes to the themes, you can just choose a template theme. They all look pretty good, but if you don't like them, then just choose one. And inside Rats and Blazers Studio, you can customize this as you want. You then want to target a directory or a folder that we want to save this application in. So I just created this folder called CRUD app and I want to select that. We then want to hit finish. And right now we already have a Blazor server app apps set up. As you can see over here, we have the whole project. And if we just run this so you can see how it looks, then you can see we already have a nice website. So all the thing that we have to do now is just to connect our database to this project and let it generate all the CRUD functionality for us so that over in our menu, it will be displayed very nicely. So back in Rats and Blazers Studio, we want to hit this data tab. And as you can see right now, we have five different database connections that we can create. So if you're not using one of these, then I'm sorry but you need to have it in one of these five. When you see this video, there might be added some more. So please go and download it and check it for yourself that your database technology is available. But in my case, I have a MySQL database. So I'll choose that one and say next. I will connect to it with saying localhost. And if you want to go in more depth with this, you can go and watch my other videos where I set up a MySQL connection from scratch. But what I will do now is just to go and say root one because I created a user with that username and my password is one, two, three, four. And now when we click this database, you can see that we get all the databases that we have. And in my case, I called it my database, but then we want to hit next. And now in here, we get all the tables. If we expand this, you can see we have all the tables. You can just tap them off if you don't want them, but I want to say next. And now we're coming to the fun part where we create our CRUD pages. You can explore some of these if you want to. I'll just stick to the CRUD, the default to choose here, but this is basically just how you want the layout to be. In some cases, the layout make more sense if you have it like this, maybe where it is a edit box at the side instead of a pop-up box, but it all depends on what kind of CRUD functionality you have. So I'll just hit next again. And in here, it will just create our models. You don't need to understand this, just tap them on. And then I will go and hit finish on this one. You can also tap to export to Excel. So let's just tap that on so that you easily can take all the articles and just export them to Excel or one article and export it to Excel. So now I'll hit finish and then it will create all the crowd functionality. So let's try and stop the application and run it again. And as you can see now, the menu is filled with all the tables that we have. So if we click on articles, we do now get a table with all the articles that we have in the database. And in our case, we can just click on one of them and you can edit. You can also, if we just cancel this, you can go and delete them over here. And you can see we have the export. So we can export this to Excel or a CSV file. And just a pretty nice feature also is that if we go to this article tag combos and we say add, then you can see in Rats and Blazers Studio, if you have a many to many relationship to something, then you don't have to sit and take the ID from the article and take an ID from the tag and set them together. You can just choose from this list and say this article and that it's with this tag. So it is super powerful to use Rats and Blazers Studio. And you can go and download a free trial where you have 14 days to explore all the functionality that we have right here. And let's say that you love Rats and Blazers Studio so much that you have to subscribe to it, then please use my link because then they will also send a coin my way. On YouTube, I have a playlist where you can go and learn more about Rats and Blazers Studio. There is a a whole lot to dive into. If you want to go more in details with how it works, you can of course customize everything as you want, but this is basically how you create full CRUD functionality on your existing database. In a 
around five minutes.